Alright, so our lesson for today's video is about integers. Hello everyone. So, integers. So, ano nga ba yung integers? So, integers are like a whole numbers but they also include negative numbers but still no fraction is allowed. So, yan po pala ang tawag sa integers, no? Mga numbers na merong negative and positive number. Tandaan ha, include yung, yung zero but hindi pwede ang mga numbers na fractional or may, may decimal. No? Hindi yan kasali sa integers. Yung 1 half, 1.1, no? yung mga may dot. Alright, so ano lang ang pwede? So whole number, 0 to the right. Yung, as you can see, yung line natin na blue no? sa number line. So that is a positive number. And yung line from 0 to the left, yung red line, that is a negative number. Alright? Alright, so let's continue, no? Integers. So, ano nga ba yung integers? So, di ba? Yung integers are all positive numbers. Meron kang positive numbers and negative numbers. So, yan yung integers, di ba? So, ngayon, ano naman ang dapat tandaan pa sa pagsagot ng integers? So, before that, before we, ano, answer yung mga exercise, let's uh, differentiate first the sign and the operation. So, sign ang tawag doon. Ano ba ang sign? Sign are ang tawag doon ang positive and negative numbers. So, pag yan ang tinatawag na sign, yung operation naman, ang operation that is yung, yung addition, di ba? Subtraction, multiplication, and division. Yan. Tandaan ha, yan yung mga symbol niya. So, yung iba kasi, no? Kaya sila nalilito sa integers kasi ang basa nila dito sa sign is positive and negative it. Uh, sa sign is positive and negative, no? Pero ang basa nila is add and subtract or plus minus. So, hindi po yan ang, da ang tamang pagbasa niyan. So, yung ano nyo, i-correct nyo na yun, no? Kasi parang hindi kayo malito. So, if you see this, no? Yung sa hara sa for the number, ang tawag doon ay sign. Or, intigyan mo muna yung uh, example before mo sagutan. Yan, yung po ba ay operation or sign? Ha? I-differentiate nyo siya. Alright, so let's proceed to our ano na ano, exercise sa, sa ano sa integers. So, ang um, dapat tandaan sa pagsagot sa integers ay ang fundamental nito, yung basic niya. So, ano ba yun? So, sabi niya, ito yung tandaan nyo, kapag daw dalawang number ay positive, no? yung parang dalawang number ang kailang mo, this is applicable for adding integers, by the way, guys. No? Adding integers. So, ang lesson natin is adding integers. Applicable to, no? Iba kasi ang rules kapag yung multiply na or division. So, adding integers. Okay, next. Oh, sige, ito na yun. So, if dalawang sign are positive, for example, 4, positive 4, pag wala kang uh, sign dito, no? Na symbol or sign. Yung automatic, positive yung number. Oh, this is addition, no? Addition, adding. Positive 4 plus, positive 4 plus, positive 2. No, ganun yung pagbasa niya, no? Or 4 plus 2, ibig sabihin, positive ang both numbers. So, parang isang grade 1 ka, di ba? O, oh, basic na kasi, uh, ano lang, positive numbers. 4 plus 2, so you need to add them up. Kailangan mong i-add lang siya. So, 4 plus 2 is 6, kasi nga adding. No, adding integers. So, what if, oh, ito, addition, no? nag a tayo. Oh, what if dalawang sign naman ay negative? Oh, negative 6 plus, ito, adding, plus negative 3. Ayan. So, we have both sign are negative. Ang sabi sa rules ay kailangan mo daw siyang i-add. So, 6 plus 3, that is 9. And, copy the sign. So, ang sign niya is both negative, so that is negative. Oh, di ba? Sa number 1, tingnan mo, oh, 4 plus 2, in mo siya and copy the sign. So, both positive. So, this is a positive. So, okay lang yan kahit na hindi nilagyan ng, ng positive sign dyan sa before the number or considered as positive yung number na yan, di ba? Now, eto naman. So, what if negative sign at yung isa ay positive? So, what if negative 6 plus 3. Ayan. So, as you can see, yung sign natin, ito yung sign, di ba? Negative yung isa. Ito ay operation. No? Operation yung add. Next, yung 3, 
ang kanyang sign ay positive, di ba? Kahit wala siya sa harapan niya, it means positive number yan, di ba? So, as you can see, we have different sign. The other one is negative and the other one is positive. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin dyan is subtract the low value to the higher value. So, 6 minus 3. Kahit nag a ka, pero kailangan mo siyang isubtract kasi yun yung rules ng ating integer. 6 minus 3, that is 3. And look at the greater value. So, which is ng larger values, 6 or 3. So, dako ang mas malaki yung 6, di ba? So, ano ang sign ng 6? So, that is a negative. So, therefore, copy that sign. So, negative 3 yung sagot. Alright? Naintindihan? O, next. Let's have an example. So, what if um, negative uh, 9 plus, oh, this is uh, 18. Ayan. Oh, look at the sign. So, we have negative sign. And yung 18 is a positive number yan, di ba? Wala yan sign sa harap, pero that is a positive number. no? So, therefore, look at the sign, negative and positive. So, different sign, you need to subtract the lower value to the larger value. So, 18 minus 9, that is 9. And copy the larger value. Tingnan mo sino mas malaki, 9 or 18. Mas malaki yung 18. Look at the signs, ang 18 positive. So, the answer is positive 9. Alright. So, ganun po yung pagsagot sa integers. Alright. Naintindihan? So, let's have an example. Uh, do this, no? Try to test yourself para ma-ano mo, ma-check if you understand the lesson. So, number 1. Uh, 6 plus 3. Uh, positive 6 plus 3. Number 2. Negative 8 plus 4. Uh, next. Number 3. Uh, 6 plus negative 1. Number 4. Alright. 7 plus negative 8. Alright. And last number. Uh, this is negative 9 plus negative 9. Ayan. So, I will give you 3 minutes. Post this video and check your answer. Alright? Alright, so now let's check. So, see, number 1, 6 plus 3. So, this is positive 6 plus positive 3. What's the answer? 6 plus 3. That is 9. So, kailangan, di ba? Same sign, you need to add and copy the sign. So, the sign is positive. So, positive 9. Next, negative 8 plus positive 4. So, different signs, di ba? Negative yung isa, yung isa ay positive. So, you need to subtract the lower value sa, lar sa larger value. So, 8 minus 4, that is 4. And copy the sign. Sino ang mas malaki? 8 or 4? Malaki si 8. Tama. So, ano yung sign ng 8? Negative. So, therefore, yung sagot ay negative 4. Alright. Next. 6 plus negative 1. Oh, positive 6 plus negative 1. So, different sign, di ba? Yung isa, positive yan, no? Yung isa, negative. So, kapag daw different sign, anong gagawin? I-subtract, di ba? So, 6 minus 1, that is 5. So, look at the larger value. Sino mas malaki, 6 or 1? Alright, malaki yung 6. So, ano ang sign ng 6? Alright, very good. So, positive. So, kahit hindi mo nalagyan ng positive sign, it is considered positive na yung sagot niyan, di ba? Alright, now, number 4, 7 plus negative 8. Alright, so, positive yung 7, no? Yung 8 naman ay negative, different sign. So, you need to subtract. Very good. 8 minus 7, that is 1. Look at the larger values. Sino mas malaki? 7 or 8? Very good. 8. So, what is the sign of 8? Negative. You know, negative 1 yung sagot. There you are. Now, number 5. Negative 9 plus negative 9. Look at the sign. Both signs are negative. ba? Kapag daw ay same sign or negative, you need to add them up. So, 
9 plus 9, that is 18. And copy the sign or copy the negative sign. Alright, so, naya, ano, nakuha nyo yung tamang sagot. Hope you learned something. Thank you. Bye. Alright, so let's have another example. No, for integers. So, ano nga ba yung rules natin? ba? Sabi niya, dun sa rules kanina, sa video natin. So, kailangan daw, uh, kapag daw yung um, both sign, o, oh, tandaan mo ha, kapag both sign, ano nga ba yung sign? ba Positive and negative. No? Both sign. If both sign are positive, so, kapag dalawang positive siya, ang kailangan mong gawin, ay i-add, no? Kailangan mo siyang i-add yung number na yan and copy that sign. If the sign are both negative, no? Kailangan mo lang i-add pa rin yun and copy that sign. So, yung sagot mo ito, yung sagot mo ay negative, no? Sign, pero, i-add mo yun, yung dalawang number na yun. What if the sign are different? So, pag isa ay negative, yung isa ay positive, ang kailangan mo ay you need to subtract those number and then look at the larger value kung sino mas malaki sa kanila. Yung negative value ba o yung positive value, yung yung malaki, yung digit, no? yung digit lang. No? Tapos, tingnan mo yung sign na yun kung sino ang mas malaki and copy that sign. Yan. Alright, what if positive and negative value? So, kapag positive yung isa, yung isa negative, you need to subtract and copy the larger value. Alright, so para mas maintindihan, let's answer this example. Number one, so we have, look at the example, negative one plus negative seven. Both signs are negative. Kapag daw both signs are negative, kailangan mo lang siyang i-add. Seven plus one, eight, and copy that sign. So, copy the negative sign. So, negative 8 yung sagot. Alright? Next, number 2. Negative 6 plus 8. So, the, this number 8 is a positive value, no? Kasi ito operation natin, addition. Pero yung 8 ay positive value siya. No? Positive number. So, as you can see, no different sign. ba? Yung isa ay negative yung isa negative, yung isa positive so kapag daw different sign no, ay kailangan mo siyang isubtract so ang 8 no, minus 6 so therefore that is 2 now look at the larger value sino ang mas malaki si 8 or si 6 alright, malaki si 8 so ano ang, ang sign ni 8, positive so the answer is positive 2 Alright, naintindihan. Alright. Next, number 3, negative 5 plus 7. So, therefore, ang 7 ay meron yung uh, operation uh, sign I mean na positive. So, negative and positive, different sign. You need to subtract 7 minus 5, that is 2. And look at the value, sino mas malaki, 5 or 7. Alright, so malaki yung 7, therefore, positive 2 yung sagot. Diba? Next, number 4, negative 1 plus negative 1. Or, as you can see, there are both sign are negative. So, kapag daw ay parehas na sign, kailang i-add. No? I-add mo yung number. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. And, copy the sign. O, yung sign are negative. So, the answer is negative 2. O, diba? Next, 4 plus negative 3. So, this 4 is a positive and 3 is a negative value. So, ne positive and negative is, you need to subtract. So, 4 minus 3 is 1 and copy the larger value. Alright? Thank you.